everybody how's it going how are we doing today I hope yes thank you for the compliment on the shirt uh, lovely lovely Christmas gift from Tara's parents hello everybody hello Eric hello Jeff hello Chris hello Joe hello Kim how's everybody doing this morning hello Tark what's been going on in the chat Oh, hi, Joe. Hi, Sue. Wow, look at everybody. Wow. Ah, so, if y'all saw the... I get to not work with you. Yay! That's great. Um, so, if y'all saw the Twitch notification today, uh, you'll see that I made a coffee discovery. Um just kind of turned my whole world upside down. Uh, good morning, Alicia. Hello, Mel. Go birds, rest in peace. Sorry about the Eagles game yesterday, everybody. Um, not that I was directly responsible, but I heard about it and I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so, coffee we've got coffee i made it in the mocha pot today uh mocha pot is a method that i notoriously i don't want to say hate but it's not my favorite um and it is it does take a long time um i feel like the chat is once again much smaller than it usually is no tara says it's fine all right um Intrigued at the discovery, exactly. That's what I was, I was trying to reel you in with some mystery. Uh, so the discovery I made uh, yesterday, um, normally when I'm talking about making coffee, when I am making coffee, um, <laughs> the game. 
So sorry, Alicia. So sorry. Um, so normally when I'm talking about coffee, I'm always talking about using filtered water or, you know, bottled water. I would say don't use bottled water because it's bottled water is not good for the environment. But um, can this? OK, yeah, there we go. That's better. Um, but yesterday, making my mocha pot, I thought, how about I do it with some tap water? Why don't I just do it with some tap water? See what happens. Uh, I've been getting into these things called cafecitos lately, which is uh, it's a mocha pot, but then you make some uh, kind of like faux foam uh, with sugar and the beginning of the mocha pot, um, and then you pour it out. It's, it's, a, it's a thing in, in, it's like Cuban mostly thing, uh, I think. Um, so I was thinking like, uh oh, like when I made the when I made it the other last week. It wasn't super good. It was it was kind of like all the things I don't like about a mocha pot is that it brews a really, really strong, uh, bitter cup of coffee. Uh, and I did it with um, filtered water that time. And so I thought, you know what? Most places when they're making these, like people at home and stuff are probably just using the tap water and then foam. That's very good. Um, using tap water and then just, just brewing the pot. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I hop? Why, why don't I try? Why don't I do an experiment? It's been a while since I've brewed using tap water. And gang, the mocha pot I brewed yesterday and this one today uh, with tap water is so good. It's so good. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, like I, on a scientific level, I guess it's like the minerals and stuff that are in the, the tap water versus the stuff that's stripped out of the filtered water, sure. But like, I don't really know how that affects the flavor and whatnot, but man, Marcel, thank you. This is a cute angle and look, looking fresh. Thank you so much, Marcel. Uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the side where my hair parts. This is the side I prefer to be on, um, which is the opposite side than my regular day. But I also don't like to just like, have the open door in the background because I don't want like if our roommate comes home or something or if Tara has to go do something or whatever I don't want that to be like I don't know I don't want them to feel like they're on camera you know um Philly got the lock on that tap water apparently apparently I remember going up drinking <laughs> out of the hose so you're good yeah I'm not saying I'm against tap water or anything it's just like all conventional wisdom uh like all methods you look up online anytime like if you work at a cafe and you're taught how to make coffee it's always the first step is always use good filtered water um but you know i i i don't know man there's something about this that's really really good uh and i know on a certain level like there are different levels of filtration and there's like a couple of years ago i know there was a kickstarter for like uh, a specific filter for coffee, but then it's it was like you could you could uh, tweak it so that it is specific to your water, so that it's filtering out all the stuff it needs to take out of your water, but leaving in or adding in because you get like a little packet of stuff, I guess, um, all the stuff that that is like good for brewing coffee. So I guess Philly has a pretty good baseline, <laughs> a pretty good baseline for uh, coffee brewing water so aj can you show the video making your first mocha pot <sighs> i think it's a private video on my youtube so that might be even easier um so i got this raw water is it the dirt like it's got dirt in it is that is it that one uh okay let's see if we can no your videos is what i want the deep lore yeah so the first time so so actually the mocha pot i have the one i used um if you've ever seen a mocha pot before like a new one um you'll probably notice that mine is a bit dingy um normally they're like completely shiny on the outside like super reflective um but mine uh is come on show my unlisted videos um is from a thrift store i got it uh, when I was, I don't know, I guess my early 20s at some point. Did you find it? Um, it should be in my videos, but it's not. 
Um, so yeah, I got it for like two bucks or something at a coffee shop or at a, at a thrift store. So like, oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Ter. Um, okay, let's, all right, perfect. So this is fading out. So let's fade with this. Wonderful, beautiful, amazing. Uh, so yeah, I got it super cheap, cheap from a thrift store. Um, and I was very excited about it. I, it was like covered in, I felt really good about it. Cause it was the first thing I've had to like work on to like make work correctly. I guess like the, the mocha pot was covered in like lime scale and like, you know, dust and whatever. So I, you know, had to do the whole thing that you, you clean it out with, uh, like baking soda and whatever. It, it, it was a process. Um, you know, so it took me a couple of days before I could actually use it. Um, but then once I finally got it, it was so exciting. It was so very exciting. Uh, okay, so let's add a... Ba, 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 ba. I want to capture my display. Yes. Yes, there it is. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Can we all, can we all see that? Let me actually, how do you crop? Is it alt? Alt to crop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just gonna crop it down. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Crop it down to the actual size of the video. Uh, okay, great, wonderful, amazing. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> my mocha pot failure. Yes, that is the that is the title of the video. Uh, so you know, I was I was into Snapchat at the time, so I was like, I'll take a fun, cool Snapchat video and I'll put it up on my story. Um, <laughs> but I had never used it before, so oh, the boy is is the boy is screaming. Uh, I had never used it before, so I didn't fully understand how it works. Uh, and basically. You put the hot water, uh, you start with boiling water so that it doesn't sit on the flame for too long. Uh, and then the boiling water pushes up through the coffee grounds uh, and then up into the, that top thing. Um, not clickbait, no. Um, so this this top part above where, where the man is pointing, um, and you'll see it, that, that spout, and you saw it when I was making the coffee this morning, that spout is where the coffee comes out, obviously. Um, but it is pressurized coffee. <laughs> so... Um, I think I'm just going to kind of play the video and let it speak for itself. Um, do you think I need to put the sound with it? Do you think I need the sound with it? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hold on. I got to add. The... Oh, no, 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 just put it. Okay. Uh, at the, really at the end, you'll hear, you'll hear me just go, Oop, and that's like the, the sound of the video, but here we go. My mocha pot failure. There you go. So you can see I'm brewing the mocha pot. I could hear it, hear it boiling. So I was like, okay, it'll be any moment now. Um, so I started filming. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I'm just going to let it go because it's only 50 seconds. <sighs> I like the little guy. Yeah, the little guy is is, is cool. Um, all right, so here it comes. There it is. I've got the heat on high, I believe, on this burner. Uh, coffee begins to come out. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> We're brewing coffee. It's looking good. I'm I'm stoked about this. I'm like, man, I'm making mocha pot coffee. Look at this. And then all of a sudden, it starts to boil too much and sprays out all over the kitchen. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so that's <laughs> that was <laughs> that was my mocha pot failure. Uh, let me see if I can get the moment <laughs> where, it <sh> where it flies out. This is my favorite video. Yeah, Tara loves this video. And as you can see, like, this is the moment. If, if you had the sound on and you were really listening, there's, like, a, a little whistle sound that is, like, a telltale sign that it is boiling too much. Uh, and then it just immediately just... Uh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> my biggest shame. <laughs> Unprivate this video right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's <laughs> my mocha pot failure. Um, 
do you want to just take a picture of it on this actual screen? Um, yeah, so so I've gotten better at it, as you can tell. Um, as soon as the water starts to come out, you want to turn the heat down or all the way off uh, and then, you know, put the lid on. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's, that's the mocha pot. <laughs> and just one more time. There it is. Just my, my biggest shame. I would have never known this was a thing. PSA. Did you get burnt? No. Luckily, uh, I was able to step, step aside, um, and, and not get burned. Uh, so there, there, <laughs> there you go. <sighs> I don't get it. Okay. Jill, explain this baby. <laughs> yeah, wait. I need this joke explained to me. I'm sorry. Like, okay. You know that? There was a tweet. Yeah. Of, it was this girl who was in an office, right? And she looked over and she saw a chair and it looked like a pee pee. And the caption just was, I should, I should call, call her. her. So, oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> this would make a good TikTok. It would. You're not wrong. Um, so uh, get ready to add to that James Hoffman counter. James Hoffman actually just started a series on the Mocha Pot. Um, and uh, the first video is out. It's pretty interesting. Uh, the little guy on <laughs> the little guy on the uh, on the pot. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. This little man right here. Oh, wait, you're not sitting. You're not looking at it. This little man right here uh, is one of the oh, would you this boy is being crazy. What are you doing? Um, he's either the guy who holds the patent or like the guy who owned the company or something. I don't exactly remember what it was. Um, there you go. The total I brought up James Hoffman four times. Um, yeah, so so it's it's pretty interesting, and the the guy, the real person, has this humongous mustache. Uh, so it's it's great. It's it's a really good uh, caricature. But they have had this same design since the fifties or sixties, whatever it was. Every single one is just that that same design with the little man on it. Um, gotta love a little guy. Uh, we love a smaller Columbo. We, I already know that about you, Scout. Excuse me. Significant delay. That's fun. Ah, all right. So that's the mocha pot. Um, apparently, you can use. Um, what's the word? Oh, where's my? Oh, there's no alert box on. Um, apparently, Philly tap water is good <laughs> for coffee. So if you live in Philadelphia or the surrounding area, probably. Um, you're getting your, your water provided by the city, I suppose. Um, make sure you check out <laughs> coffee making with your tap water. <laughs> um, so, uh, man, this, I, for, I forgot that video existed this whole time. Uh, so thanks, so thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> Can you make food in a mocha pot for like fun? I, no, no. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I guess it's like over an open flame. So I guess you could just like, will it mocha pot? Yeah. Mocha pot soup. Yeah. I honestly, actually, I guess you could put like, like some vegetables and stuff in there and make yourself a little, uh, a little eight ounce soup or something. Uh, that's very funny. Um, oh, let me bring the music back actually. It's a little too quiet here. There we go. Brew bone broth in your mocha pot. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> what are you doing? Here's Scrappy. Here, wait. There he is. There's the... Oh, it's just focused fully on his tail. Look at that tail. Look at this tail. Huh? Look at that tail. What are you doing? Well, uh, whatever. <laughs> Panera broccoli cheddar soup in a mocha pot. You won't believe step five. Hi, bud. Hi. Boil hot dogs in it. Yeah, you do little, uh, the little, um, oh, what are those little wieners called? Mini wieners. They're mini wieners, but they're like co cocktail wieners? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, free scrappy cam. When will you make things that aren't coffee in coffee products? <laughs> 
Um, Marcel, I think I'm too much of a coward to do that. <laughs> I think the closest I would go is to like make tea in a French press or something. Hey, bud. How you doing? Tara wants you to hide your shame. Here, sit down. You can sit down. He's in a very pushy mood. He keep pushing his head into my hand. Don't do that. That's probably not a good sound experience. Cook a meal in a French press win. <laughs> um, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness, bud. You're so pushy right now. Um, <laughs> so that's that's the coffee part of the stream today, buddy. <laughs> um, here, let me bring chat back. Uh, <sighs> you are so sweet. I love you so much. <laughs> You're looking at my lap like you want to lay in it. Go for it. I would really appreciate it if you stopped pushing on the on the actual air cord. Be really nice if you stopped doing that. No, he says I went to speak. I went to speak. You got stuff to say? So today on the stream, <laughs> I'm making mocha pot, which I have done. Um, it's really good. Do not silence him. <sighs> Buddy, we could probably get people to listen to 10 minutes of you purring, huh? That'd be easy to record. Here, wait, you're purring right now. Hold on. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> uh, hopefully I didn't just screw up my whole setup okay make sure everything's staying <clears throat> screwed in as it should alright oh, you're such a sweet boy huh so today if you looked at the twitch notification and I guess if you look at the uh, whatever is below here I don't know what to call it description of the stream um I'm probably going to be gaming today. Um, and I guess I am already kind of bending the rules for my, my no work <laughs> stuff. Because uh, the thing is, I need to play a lot of Fire Emblem this week <laughs> for a podcast on Sunday. But also, I want to play Fire Emblem because it is a fun video game. So today, <laughs> I am probably going to be playing Fire Emblem. Uh, I don't know why I say probably. I'm literally sitting next to my television with Fire Emblem on. Um, I am going to be playing Fire Emblem today. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, chapter 9 of the Golden Deer House. Um, and if you've played the game before, Chapter 9. Time for baby's nap. Good night, buddy. Bye, Leash. Thanks for coming. Um, so chapter nine of Fire Emblem Three Houses is, um, it, it has a pretty rough ending. <laughs> um, make coffee with your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Marcel, please. <laughs> I can't do these things. You're really just chilling, huh? Um... Yeah, so so strap in. If you haven't played Three Houses, um, spoilers abound, I suppose. Um, I do have to. Yeah, I have to finish the run by Sunday, so it's. Uh, I'm gonna be playing pretty much in in all my off time. Um, but look, I I I want to. It's a fun game, and I want to play it. Uh, real sad hours. Yeah. Okay, bud. All right, so uh, with that, oh, there he goes. Thanks, bud. Hair. Can you see this? You see this hair? 
barely. Barely. Anyway. Um, with that being said, let's swap on over to <laughs> my working screen. It's still it's still called working in my in my software, but and it's still got the working. Uh, I'm playing a mod of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories on my day off. Hell yes, <laughs> Jeff, that's incredible. That's amazing. Um, let's switch over to the working screen, shall we? Hey, there it is. Oh, all right. Forbidden Many Memories is the PS1 one, right? All right, let's... Uh, all right. I miss Yu-Gi-Oh, yes. All right, here we are. Ready to do battle. Uh, all right. Uh, so let's just quick, well, let's just quick go through all, through my students. Um, actually, I'm just gonna go through the certifications, just to double check. Uh, so I'm playing Golden Deer. Divorce and babes. Divorce and babes. Bye, guys. Got to do a divorce vlog. <laughs> if you can exclamation point lurk, you can exclamation point lurk. Nice. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I have vivid memories of someone playing that, but I can't, I can't think of who. I don't know if it was you, Jeff, like someone playing it when, when I was a kid. Um, I don't know if it was you, Jeff, though. I, it might have been. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so obviously we've got Byleth. Uh, I'm always, I'm hesitant to, I mean, I guess I should just, if I can, I should just do it, right? Uh. Yeah, why not? Uh, your Byleth is dashing. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Did I just, call you, did I just say Derek? Thanks, Eric. I don't know. I, if I, part of me feels like I said Derek. Uh, okay. Oh, you know what I do have to do, actually? I have to switch Mercedes over to... Can I not look at the unique classes? Okay. I guess I'll have to do that somewhere else. Uh, so, we've got our Golden Deer here. This mod actually has a speedrun community. Makes it so you can win 15 cards instead of one, so the game isn't terrible. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Alright. So, we've got Claude. Uh, I have Claude as a sniper, but I actually have been... <laughs> bless you. I have really been training Claude in Axe. Um, because it is his secret hidden talent or whatever. Uh, and he... Fucking rules. Uh, Claude with an X is so good. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Lorenz I've got as a... Uh, I'm gonna have him be my mortal savant when we get there. Uh, but for now, he's just... He's just got sword and magic. Um, where... Oh, yeah. And also, I recruited Catherine so that I could give Lorenz Catherine's sword. Uh, <laughs> because I think that's hilarious. Um... Probably was me. I played it a lot. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, who's the lady with the Paula Abdul hat? Ah, that's Dorothea. You're talking about Dorothea. Right here. There she is. My sweet, sweet Dorothea. I was bench Lorenz because he's ugly. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> um, if I was going to bench anybody, it would probably be Lorenz because I already have some pretty good magic users. I already have some pretty good sword people. Um, but at the same time, I do want the supports, um, because there are some people who like Lorenz, and I want to find out why, <laughs> and I figured it would be through the supports, but, uh, as of right now, I still hate Lorenz. Uh, I didn't know Lorenz could wield a sword. Yeah. He sure can. He sure can. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, he's got a crest, right? So as long as you have a crest, um, you can, you can wield any of the relics. Coming out, I'd like to say Taylor Swift wrote a song named Dorothea. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. It's very yee yee, she says. Um, I just made Raphael a grappler. Um, I feel like that's a pretty standard, a pretty standard run for Raphael. But let's just look at his grappler outfit because it is wild. 
Look at this man. What? What? How are those chains helping you fight, sir? This looks like the most inconvenient style for a fighter. But you know what? He is he's rocking it. Raphael can grapple me. Yes. Lorenz gets better after the time skip. Okay. All right. There he is. There's our there's our thick boy. Um Ignatz I have as an assassin uh cuz he is his crit rate is wild. Um he crits nearly every single time. Um, I like how one, <laughs> depending on which way I turn, the, the, the side of the cape goes up. Um, he crits nearly every time. It's so much fun. Um, I've been really struggling. I, I, I have been switching out Ignatz and Petra um, interchangeably. Like, Petra is also an assassin. Um, but I feel like I owe it to Ignatz. And his stats are, they basically have the same stats. Um, due to his thighs. Um... Ignatz is a very good battle boy, despite him, <laughs> despite everything about him. Yeah, despite him not wanting to fight at all. Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm like, maybe I should just bench him so he doesn't have to fight. And I'm, I'm doing good for this boy. But um, Lysithia, obviously doing magic because she uh, fucking murders. 64% um, chance. I don't like those odds. Marianne, Marianne now. Marianne I have as a paladin. Uh, Marianne's on a sword, on a, on a sword, on a horse, with a lance, and she wrecks shit. Marianne is so good with a lance. Um, it is one, of, it is her hidden talent. So, uh, there it is. Um, she fucking wrecks shit. Stats aren't important. Aesthetic is more important. Yeah. Um, yeah, oh my god, I love Marianne so much. Whatever her crest is, I don't know yet. I'm sure we find out at some point, because uh, she's got this this mystery crest. Um, it's unclear which one. Um, uh, this crest gives her, like, 20% extra damage every time she attacks, so, like, duh. Um, she has these spells that she's learned that she cannot use anymore, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, Hilda, I've got as a... I had her as a Fortress Knight for a bit. Um, but then I decided I would rather her be able to travel and attack and then evade stuff. Her evasion's pretty good, um, here, uh, with, with, with this class. Um, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> whereas Fortress Knight, she can just, like, take a lot of hits, you know? Um, but for all intents and purposes, like... I feel like Warrior is just generally a better class. Um, so. Who's your healer? My healer is... I use Lysithia's white magic for healing, but I also have recruited Mercedes and have been using her as my main healer. Um, she's great. I love her so much. Mary is a darling girl. I want to adopt her. Yes. Um, my crest is toothpaste. God damn it. <laughs> Give horse girl a horse and you'll see profits. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, so Mercedes is my healer. Uh, and that's... Oh, and then finally. Uh, the girl that we've done so wrong on the show and have only recently come around. Um, Leone, my favorite... My favorite child. Um, Pegasus Knight. I, I mean, it's obvious. She's great with a lance she's great with other stuff i have her like strictly using um axes right now so that she can become a waver uh, wy wyvern rider wyvern rider um because i want her to be able to fly around uh, mercedes is amazing for healing her crest allows her to heal herself some yeah, yeah yeah mercedes is such a good healer i have her as a war cleric right now oh very nice um and i've thought about going and playing chapter one of the DLC so I can get those classes. <sighs> but I, I just don't know. I mean, it's only it's only one chapter, so, like, it probably wouldn't... T I, I imagine you just have to, like, start the DLC and then, like, meet the students. Um, I'm partial to Dark Flyer, but War Cleric is very good, yeah. The only deaf works at her dad's pizza shop in Hoboken. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Everyone always asks why Vern, but nobody ever asks how Vern. Uh, so our War Cleric and Dark Flyer, 
Or no, I guess Dark Flyer is a regular class, right? No, I don't. I don't know. Dark Knight is what I was thinking of. Um, oh my god, imagine like Scythia on a fucking. Oh my god, wow. Look at this. Amazing. Um, wow. Look at her. Anyway. <sighs> All right. Uh, so those are my students. That's who I use, uh, and then Mercedes as well. Uh, and then I've recruited uh, every Black Eagle. <laughs> every single Black Eagle. Um, just because I, I've already played that route and I love them so much. And I wanted Petra for the supports with Claude. I needed Caspar for a thing I'm doing later. Um, and then I was like, well, I can't leave Bernadetta. She's great. And I was like, oh, well, I need Linhart so he can get those fun, those fun, uh, supports with um i mean i already did his his supports with lysithia but uh with marianne and flane and i was, was like okay well i mean i already have caspar bernadette and petra uh and linard <laughs> so i might as well just grab ferdinand and dorothea why not uh war cleric and trickster are part of the dlc dorothea is a dark flyer it's consistent 40 plus damage with massive crit rate amazing <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll play the, the first chapter of that. It's short, right? It's gotta be short. It's just the one chapter. As someone who chose Golden Deer first, I was surprised to learn during my run, Black Eagle, or during my Black Eagle's run, that I actually love every Black Eagle's character despite only liking about half the Golden Deer. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, Shamir's great. I love Shamir so much. I accidentally recruited Shamir in my Black Eagles run because I just talked to her and I was like, oh, I wonder what it'll take to recruit her. And then she was like, I'll join your class. <laughs> um, I recruited Catherine so I could get her a good sword. Um, all of her supports, I'm realizing, are, is Catherine just being like, well, I'm hot and good at fighting, but are you hot and good at fighting? Rhea seems to think so, but I don't know if I agree. <laughs> it's very, very funny. I don't know, I, um, Melly, I think I'm with you. I think I, I mean, I like, I, I, I like all the Golden Deer, um, but I think I could, like, take or leave some of their story. I, I'm really just looking at, like, Lorenz, Raphael, and Ignatz. Like, Raphael has the aesthetic. He's great. Uh, Ignatz is extremely sweet. Lorenz is trash, but I think I could really kind of take or leave all three of them. But with the Black Eagles... Oof, I don't know. They're all they're all so interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could take or leave Caspar, um, but I like Caspar a lot. I love Ferdinand's arc. But anyway, um, unfortunately, I prefer toxic students. <laughs> Ignatz is my one pure soul, whom I love. Shut your mouth about Raph and Ignatz. All right, look. I'm not saying I don't like them. I'm just saying um, they're a little they're a little boring. <laughs> um. Yeah, Caspar's whole thing is he likes to fight and then whatever. He, he has fun supports with other people, but Caspar himself isn't super interesting. Um, which feels like kind of a waste because of the second half stuff um, with his dad and whatnot, but whatever. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Am I boring, AJ? Look, I'm not saying you're boring. I'm just saying compared to all these other war children... Ignatz being a reg being like a regular human scout is like not super compelling in this story. Uh, you'll eat your words when we talk. <laughs> All right, uh, I recruited Anna. Anna's awful. I I just did her paral her uh, paralogue actually. It was wild. Um, but I'll save that for the podcast. Uh, Cyril I also got without trying, which I was confused about because I really tried to get him last time in my Black Eagles run, and I could not. I don't know what... I mean, I guess I have all the... Anyway, Brennan Lee Mulligan's voice. He's just a guy! He does. He just wants to be a painter. <laughs> Anna's so nothing all the time. Yeah, even her, like, when, when it's her story in her paralogue, it's just like... She's just a person who sells stuff. Like, she's not... I actually think the commoners who are just regular folks are more interesting. Ooh... Fair enough. Um, all right. So that's that's that. Uh, it's the day after Christmas. The day after the ball. I didn't realize how much stuff happens in this month, um, including the, the the battle here. But um, it's the dancer, the dancer stuff, the battle stuff, 
Um, and the ball. Uh, you know, it's a lot. This is a big month. Big end of the year. <sighs> I actually think that... Yeah, okay, I just read that one. Um, and it's so much more fun in Awakening. Send tweet. Ooh. Well, in Awakening, isn't... Can't you, like, access the item shop only through her if you have her deployed? Like, isn't that the deal? Yeah, Anna's just, like, the, the stock name for the merchant, right? Like, it's like all the SIDs in fi in Final Fantasy. They are one and the same, but different. All right, let's... Let's get into this. Salvation at the chapel. Things take a turn for the worse. They sure do. And it's like longtime series multiverse character, but she's nothing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get sad. My thank you so much. <sighs> White clouds. Chapter nine. Captain. Captain. Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you then. We're just gonna watch the cutscenes if that's okay. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain, thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course, we're both sworn to protect this place. Uh, demonic beasts. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students <laughs> heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right mind. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. <sighs> Seems spooky. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important. Oh, is there... No Chris says there's some popping Never in the audio? Damn time. But this Let is me know. much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Is there popping for anybody else with the switch sound? If you play the mobile Fire Emblem, you tag along to her dimension travels. What the hell? Why is Anna so interesting? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, let's do some quick wiggling of chords here. Let's see if we can. Oh no, Anna is still deployed from her, from her paralog. Anna, I'm so sorry. If it becomes too much, I will just uh, open a Fire Emblem uh, playlist on uh, YouTube or something. Goodbye. Sorry, sorry. AJ plays Fire Emblem Heroes to figure out <laughs> Steel ends up spending $20 for gotcha. <laughs> yep, yeah, um, just please let me know if the popping is too much. I will, uh, I don't know, figure it out, I guess. <laughs> uh, alright, who do I need supports for? That's, I've really just been using the adjutant system as... I have to wait, okay. Alright, so Claude should have Shamir. Bump. Bump. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. I can, I, I can really just right this second I realized how, my, how much I've played this game because I hit every single one of those uh, like string hits without even 
without literally even thinking at all. <laughs> my mouth was just acting independent from my brain. Uh, Marianne, who do you need supports with? Marianne, you're so interested. Oh, uh, well, I guess we're already up. So A with Linhart. I don't know, I, I guess it would, could be interesting to put her with Ferdinand. Uh, -da 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 -da. Oof, we're really slacking over here. I always wonder, I'm like, man, why does this game take me so much longer than I think it will? And then I do shit like this for <laughs> 20 minutes. Uh, Dorothy, do you have any interesting supports on anybody? No. Lorenz, actually, maybe Lorenz. <laughs> Let's put Dorothy with Lorenz because I want her to fucking tear him apart. And I'm not going to get them above C because then they start to actually like each other. Um. Alright. And. Bop, bop. 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 Bop, bop. Let's put Cyril, actually, does Cyril have any with Leone? No. All right, let's put Cyril with... Yeah, I'm more interested in these. The Cyril and Lysithia's supports have been interesting so far. Uh, let me trade items with the convoy in the shop menu. <laughs> yeah. I actually have to go through now and take out everybody's um, bullshit. I don't know why I gave. I don't know why you have a sword, sir. Uh, a fun thing about the new game plus is these these crests that you can give to people who don't have crests. Um, so this will let. Uh, Maybe let uh, Raphael strike twice. So that's fun. Uh, don't need the mini bow. Don't need the torch anymore. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, I guess you don't need the march ring anymore because you got regular speed. <clears throat> so let's give you some defense. Bah. Yeah, the inventory management is like my biggest. Uh, probably not my biggest. It's it's just annoying sometimes. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Increase defense by two. <laughs> All right. Uh. Who's got? Yeah. So do I have any more maces for claw? I do have a killer axe. I should give someone. And a venom axe. Look at that. Um, actually, Ignatz, I'm sorry. You don't need that mace, really. Uh, maybe we have another armor slayer in here somewhere. Truly really baffling how many things about this beloved franchise and game are just god-awful. Yeah, that's... <laughs> There's so much about this game that it's like objectively just really rough. Um, but at the same time, I do get, I do get it, you know, I get it. Um, who do I want to give the Wu Dao to? Let's compare this. It doesn't show it, okay, cool. Uh, 890, 30, 890, 30. So it's just got kind of a better hit, but the crit isn't any better. The weight is half. Does the weight, what does the weight do in this game? <laughs> this game is perfect if you ignore everything about it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's so funny.
Cool. Kim has no idea. Great. Um, anybody else? If you know what weight does, chime in because that's, that's really my biggest uh, deciding factor there. Um, let's give Claude... Let's trade this out for the Killer Axe. No? Where's the Killer Axe? There it is. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Oh, you know what? I need to reclass. I need to reclass for Mercedes before I forget. Because I will. Yes. I'll do my best. I know you will, Mercedes. Uh... Okay, good. I was like, oh my god, did she just lose all her magic? Um. Uh... Weight reduces the amount of attack speed your unit has. Attack speed is a variable that determines which unit gets to attack twice. Reduces the amount of attack speed? Weight reduces the amount of attack speed. Also affects evasion. Okay, so maybe I'll... So the lower the weight... Too much weight reduces... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 okay. I was just... Yeah, okay. A higher weight reduces your attack speed. I was thinking about it wrong. Yeah, okay, that... Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, so maybe I do... Give Byleth the Wudao. Wudao. Um, but I think I would rather... You know what? Why not both? Por que no los dos? Like D&D. Just like D&D. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I laughed. That's, <laughs> that's just factual. Uh, okay. I think we're good. I can't wait until y'all see Lorenz with <laughs> the fucking mage robe and the thunderbrand. It's really good shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I give you a better sword? Not really. Maybe a better lance? Um, oh, you know what? I should give someone. Yeah, you. Oh, that's right. I got this. I forgot. I defeated one of the Death Knight soldiers in the village, in Ramire Village, and uh, got this sickle. Mm, I should probably give that to someone. <laughs> Bump, 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 toe to tip. That's D and D. Bump, 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 bump. Nine eighty twenty five. Nine eighty twenty five. <laughs> but what's the weight? Ten. And this is twelve. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I even doing? This is. <laughs> Way better. Uh, okay. Uh, Marianne, do you want this blessed lance? Probably. Okay. I just gave Ignatz a rusted lance. Bless you. Uh, all right. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm ready. We love to set up for battle. Uh, I do just have to bless you. All right, let's see, what do we got? Four baddies. And a student. 
Okie dokie. Okay, we'll put you over here. So you can go get that one. Quad. Oh, I can't move Quad. Fun. Love that. Why can Mercedes move so much? Is that just her is that just her movement? God. Yeah, I guess so. I'm on computer finally. Welcome. I truly don't know why. I know I gave her the uh, this, which allows her to from Lorenz's paralog, which allows, it gives her magic two pl uh, plus two range, which is wild. I tend to give Mercedes the boots. Oh, you know what? I think that's what it is. I gave her the boots. I, I or yeah, I gave her the boots, and I think I had a couple other speed things that I gave her. Uh, I also gave her a bunch of charm stuff so that she would definitely win. So her charm is thirty right now. Um, Oh, uh, you know what? I guess maybe I should look at their freaking abilities. Hold on. Uh, just to make sure that her stuff still lines up. And it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. What am I using? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sure. Speed plus two. Speed plus two could be good. It's plus 20 just generally, yeah. Um... Let's take this, actually, for you. If you need initiate combat, magic six is pretty good. Uh, sort of, uh, dexterity plus four, reason level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all pretty good. Great, great. Cool. I'm good with that. Uh, you. Let's give you the axe one instead of the sword one. Uh, if you need. Initiates combat with less than 50%. The final attack occurs before the foe's counterattack. I like that. But everything else is also very good, so that's fine. Uh, and then just Ignatz. Yeah, bud, you're doing great. Keep it up. Okay. This is such a thrill to watch how AJ preps for battle versus me just tossing them out of the field. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, this is the part of the game that I, like, enjoy. I mean, I, I enjoy the, the, you know... What's it called? The uh, other part of it as well. <laughs> um, but I don't know. This is like, ow, jeez. This is like what I'm playing the game for. I don't know. I, I, that's also not true. But anyway. Okay. Uh, everyone has a battalion, right? Yes, 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 yes. Actually, Leone can't have it because she's flying. Uh, do you? Can you get a different one? Is your stuff high enough? Yes. No. Oh, shit. Oh, this is all like the... Yeah, yeah, I just want to give her... Poison. No, I want I want her to use one that has uh, the lightning, whatever it is. White magic. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, resonant lightning. Ugh. You know? Ugh. Where's she at? D right now? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Apparently. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that is maybe just because I, um, I don't know, actually. I, I don't know why I'm so strategy-brained, because that's not really how I play D&D, <laughs> honestly. Um, I'm kind of, kind of spur of the moment with D&D, &D, but 
Okay. There really are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> they're what? You stupid beasts. Don't you dare come over here. Oh my god. Is this the one? Is this the one where when you save one of them, they apologize? I stand ready. <sighs> Thank you. We love free XP. Also, we love this song. Leave it to me. I got this. How much damage will they do to you? Oh my god, you strong, strong motherfucker. Um... What kills me is sometimes... Oh, time for seconds, amazing. Sometimes Raphael will be stronger without the gauntlets. <laughs> like, he'll be better just bare-knuckle boxing these fucking whatever. I love the guy's like, fuck you guys. Yeah. Like, sorry for the inconvenience. Right, yeah, there's someone who's like, I'm so sorry we got captured. It's like, girl, <laughs> this is not your fault. I tried to keep my students, like, pretty average leveled this run, but I don't think it worked. <laughs> yeah. Ready and willing. Here right as well, right? I love her baloney attack. Yes, Mercedes! Yes! Minor gods now. Ugh. Uh oh. The demonic beasts were actually students. How can this be? Who'd have thought? Who would have thought? Let's get to it. I didn't have a flying unit for so much of my Black Eagles run, and I truly don't know Stay why focused. I did that to myself. Ready anytime. Ready anytime. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, thank you. Beast. This, that. I hate that. I hate that part because literally for no reason, I know I kind of just aid through it, but there's for no reason Monica has a non-line. Like there is no there's no dialogue there. It just is Monica with a with an ellipsis or an, an ellipse. And it's like, no, ellipse is the shape, with an ellipsis. And it's like, why is that there? <laughs> like, if they're trying to keep it a secret, uh, that's not the way to do it, actually. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Should I try and, I think I could probably, I could probably get this stuff from this, right? No, let's, okay. Yeah, great. And then you can attack. Okay. Uh, I can't get that back corner one, unfortunately. Unless, oh, Lorenz could. Okay, so. Oh, wait, what's your... your gamut hit most of that stuff great all right so let's actually this let's use Lysithia's gambit Okay, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. 
Let's see. Hopefully it works. Morning, friends. Hello, Murray. Welcome to the stream. Meanwhile, me with everyone on either flyer or horse. Yeah, later in the game, I think I'm gonna. Everybody's gonna be on a horse. I think it's actually to set up that she's there. Sure, I get. I get that it's like, oh, here she is, but like she's not actually on. I don't know. It just feels so weird that it's like. It just seems so out of place. I don't know. I love Gamma Boost. Everything is ready. Not mechanically, it's just I just like watching the their faces. Great. Good job, Lorenz. And you, sir. Let's punch this monster with our bare hands. Love that stuff. Yay. Thank you. But my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay? No, they're monsters. <laughs> are they okay? Bye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess I don't really have a choice. That's oh well, that's fine. Whatever. It raised her speed, but I guess not enough. I don't know. Yeah, Kim, I get what you're saying, but I think they could have just made Monica one of the ones that's like been captured, quote unquote. You know. Great job, Dad. Hello? Why'd that happen? What do you have? Oh, they just used it. Okay. Hi, bud. You can't go up there. I'm sorry. That's upsetting. <laughs> She's better with the freaking Silver Lance than what's the what's even the point? Am I right? All right, whatever. You're making it really difficult to see the TV. Just yeah, just lay down, lay down right there. It'd be cute. The people would love it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Yeah. You're supposed to dodge that. Is the thing. Gamer cat. Hey, when he's angry, do you ever call him Scrabby? Um, no, I've never ever done that. <laughs> um, but I guess uh, maybe I will now at some point. <laughs> Like this? Y'all like this? Uh, okay. Oh my god. Mercedes is a dancer. I forgot. 
Uh, let's go give someone a second turn, huh? Nope, not assist. Alright, Claude. Don't. Just don't fuck up. You have a 70% crit chance. Uh, just. Just get it. There you go. Thank you. Oh my god, really? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Shit. Maybe you should. Hey, maybe I should. Alright, well, here. We got. Just get this final freaking. I guess we needed that crit. Yes, no damage. Love to see it. Yeah, dancer's great. I was like, maybe I just won't have anybody be a dancer, but what was I thinking? You know, that's that was a dumb thing that I thought. Absolute brick shit house. I can't believe you don't keep enemy enemy danger zones on all the time. Eh. <laughs> I like to keep it spicy for myself. I really go by the the lines. I just went to point at my TV. I go by like the attack lines, um, which doesn't super help honestly um, all the time. But that's usually what I go by. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, maybe we teleport Lorenz up, right? There's no second phase to this. Warp is a crazy good white magic spell. And if you're not using it, you're wrong because it's good. You can't compete with me. Look at him. Look at that fucker in a robe holding a hero's relic. Oh my god. I hate him so much. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. Thanks. Alright, let's go. Get a crit. Yes! Leone also crits nearly every attack. Ugh. Fucking so good. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Bob. That was a close Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I got attacked by demons. You saved me. Cool. Currently increases strength. Great. Thanks. AJ, I have a secret about Lorenz's voice actor. Oh no. Who is it? Do they voice act somebody that I do like? Or do they also hate Lorenz? I don't, I, no, I can't think of any facts I know, uh, about Lorenz's voice actor, so. To the chapel. <sighs> there isn't a trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remyer. Perhaps. Wait! <sighs> See, like, that would have been enough. Just, Another just having student? that would have been. He does Lorenz and Caspar, that's so funny. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <sighs> <laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? What are you doing here? 
You must survive. Merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys ever see Men in Black 2? <laughs> There's a part... The, the big twist of Men in Black 2 is that the the woman that they're trying to save this whole time... So this is where your father lived. Hold on, Sothis. The woman that they're trying to save the whole time uh, can control the weather with her emotions... And at the end of the movie, she cries. She says, it always rains when I'm sad. And Agent K says, it rains because you're sad. <laughs> and that's the moment. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so when Violet starts crying and then it starts raining, I immediately think of, it rains because you're sad. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Uh, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate you uh, you all enjoying the uh, the transition because I, I thought about it immediately and I was like mm, this will be funny this will be funny and it will break the tension of watching a man die this morning <laughs> anyway the rest of this cutscene I guess are you still crying I am still crying it's been a day <laughs> if turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life I know I talked about it in the podcast but so anyway, about Ace Attorney. Um, the, yeah, so, um, Kim, this outfit is one of the DLC outfits you can put uh, your kids in. It's the... Uh, thank you so much for the clip. Um, it is the summer outfit uh, for the Academy. I'll, I'll go through them when we get back to the to the uh, the bedroom scene. Or the, you know, the setup phase or whatever. Uh, it wasn't fate. Control yourself. Though Gerald's death was at the hands of wicked ones, a fate is still a fate. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. Welcome. Your you just missed one of the saddest things. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Yeah, summer outfit's really good. I gave everybody the summer outfit except for Lorenz, because Lorenz needs his little flair, uh, and Leone because I love Leone's uh, like hoodie tied around the waist style, huh. and Claude because Claude's regular outfit is just so good. Uh, oh, and Raphael. So I guess not everybody. <laughs> uh, Raphael, I looked thinner in like the summer outfit. He he didn't look as big um, when he wasn't about to bust out of his shirt. So read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year eleven fifty nine. Eleven fifty nine. Everybody except everybody. <laughs> yeah. Day twenty of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded oh, her I guess life I for doesn't that. make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but... No heartbeat. No heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. 
Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night. Weather update, it's raining. <laughs> Lady it rains because you're sad, news. you know? I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... That Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. Oh. He wasn't the I'm not going to be mean to Aloise right now, are you kidding me? I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. That's so sad. Alexa, play Men in Black 2. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I didn't just set up anybody's uh, device. Oh. But I have at least figured uh, one thing out. I now remember what AJ's transition reminded me of. Anyone know the scene from Shaun of the Dead in which Phil turns into a zombie? <sighs> it's been a while, Sue, but I remember that movie. <laughs> and I do remember somebody turning into a zombie. You know, that's a thing that happens. Professor, happened. I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald sure. was an ally of many years. And also a dear friend. Uh huh. It had been so long. He Boo is. fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrick Mock. Their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father. Never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Who was my mother? Your mother. <laughs> sure, Jan. She was my <sighs> sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. Cousin. There's something you must hear immediately. Friend. A report from the knights Mom? patrolling the area. Very well. <laughs> Professor, you are dismissed for the day. And Byleth, rest classic Byleth, not following up at all. Your heart. Understood? Foul in a bad way, yeah. <laughs> that singular foul floating up in the black screen, in the blackness was very good. Hey, that's a cool sweater. Thank you, Chase. It says Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know how legible it is, but... Part and then the one. back has a... White cloud. <laughs> The back has a big design on it. I'll, I'll show it in a second. Where the goddess I guess. dwells. I have to like squat to do it, so maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just... <laughs> Long ago, the guardian Saros made an appearance during this you movie. see that? <laughs> she had been summoned by the goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged <sighs> across Fogland. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings, are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. Hey, you should check the production schedule sometime later. I wrote the intros for the rest of the Three Houses season. Okay. I love it. I love that it says Dungeons & Dragons. Yes. This also says Dungeons & Dragons. I don't know if I said that. I did say that. It's great. It's a uh, so it's it's something I saw on an Instagram ad years ago, and then uh, Tara's parents got it for me for Christmas. Christmas. Leone, yes, this is a great time. I mean, probably not great time, but. Hey, professor, got a minute? Yes. Sorry about the, Sorry about our dad. <laughs> I'm sorry I snapped at you. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I was rude to you. I should have known better. Huh, I thought you might say that. In that way, you're just like Captain Gerald. 
You accept other people. You don't let petty details get under your skin. Oh, this is a poorly timed support scene, huh? <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I kind of latched onto him. Yeah, I mean, I it's also, it's good timing and also bad timing. Events. He spent some time in the village I grew up in. Actually, you weren't with him back then. Why not? Mm. Huh. Maybe he left you with a relative or something. Maybe. Anyway, back then, Gerald's job was to deal with poachers. Well, they were bandits, but we called them poachers. Nobody in the village could stand up to them. But your dad, he took them on like it was nothing. I was so impressed. All I could think was how amazing mercenaries were. I'd lived in that tiny village my whole life. So to me, Captain Gerald was nothing short of a legend. So I went right up to him and I told him I was going to be his apprentice. He didn't stick around long after that, but he did teach me a lot while he was with us. Tactics, strategy, training routines, it was all so new and exciting. So after he left, I kept at it, kept training, just like he taught me. Oh my God, this is so sad. <laughs> me too. I always planned to meet him again once I became a top-tier mercenary. But I'm just glad I got to see him, to thank him properly and all. Jesus. I've spent my whole life working to become a great mercenary like your father. There were so many times when I wanted to ask his advice, but I couldn't. I just had to make do. That's how I've made it this far. Just hard work all on my own. Yeah, the timing is but good. And you come along. And it's like you don't appreciate Captain Gerald at all, or how lucky you were to have him around your whole life. We're really going no, through the seven stages, five really stages of grief here. Me. You might be his kid, but I'm still his best apprentice. Got it? Wow. If this hadn't happened when it did, I would have been like, wow, Leonie's being really mean. But the fact that it did happen immediately after, uh, immediately after that cutscene is like, girl's just grieving. You know, she's just grieving. Shit, that's sad. <laughs> that's so sad. Whew. Day five of the Garland Moon, year 1157. Clear skies. I picked some flowers for her and returned home. The look of joy on her face at the sight of these flowers will be even more beautiful than the flowers themselves? <laughs> Yeesh, that is enough. His entries from before your birth are full of such romantic Yeah, right, I feel like Leone and Byleth should have, like, a post-Chapter oh, 9 scene. It must be deeply moving you to hear such things, but now is not the time for whimsy. Someone is here. You do not wish for them to see you in this state, so pull yourself together. <laughs> I thought I might find you here, Teach. Not the type to wallow in solitude, huh? That's a relief, let me tell you. So, what? What oh, were you I reading? guess I'm not in my room. Okay. Is that Gerald's? <sighs> this man is a simp. Um, Chase uh, asked how I was going to play Metal Gear Solid soon. That's my goal. <laughs> I want to. I'm trying to find the best way to play the the original um because it's not on xbox it's not on playstation last time i played it i emulated it i guess i don't know um i was thinking about getting the gog version but i've heard that it like cuts some stuff out in weird ways um so i i, I don't really I, i'm yes i do want to play metal gear solid again soon uh I'm glad you're streaming this part okay I'll keep going. So it is. Hey, maybe this has some entries from when Gerald left the monastery. Maybe. Is that so? He was the captain of the knights, but something made him leave the monastery in a hurry. If it uh -huh. has something to do with your birth, knowing what happened may get us closer to knowing what secrets the church is hiding. Uh-huh. Teach, would you mind letting me read that diary? I know how important it is to you, but I'm not asking lightly. Please allow me to borrow it. I mean, I want him to borrow it. Oof. 
I actually think I might have... Yeah, I was thinking about that, but then I, I didn't realize you have to spend $20 for developer mode. That's a bummer. PS1 Classic. I was thinking about getting a PS1 Classic, too, just for that, but it's like 60 bucks. I think um, Lads on Tour, uh, it's more Hussein and Lucy James and Zach, don't remember his last name, and a fourth guy that I also don't remember his name, sorry. Um, they just played Metal Gear Solid, and they said that Rhea dispatched the knights uh, to various the locations. PS frantic search classic the version is the is the best way to play it. She's already secured some information. Legally. Something big is going to happen soon. That has me wondering. If you find out where the enemy is, what will you do about it? If you ask, I No, scratch that. All of us students would gladly lend a hand. That's sweet. Even if that means going against Rhea's wishes. Don't forget it. We love to hear. Now go. Everyone's worried about you. You'd better show them you're in good spirits. Oh, thank you. You saved oh my God. me. If you yeah, so, uh, I'm curious about... Would be revealed, preventing mystery of our bodies. I'm curious I'm about Claude reading this, uh... <laughs> there is something I need this diary. To oh, of course. I'm always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. <laughs> Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that the you may burn even the gods. Beasts. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Duskar and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. Who's the beast? Yeah, Scout. Uh, Kim and I talked about that a couple weeks ago. A hundred percent. It's so it's so obvious. The the inflection and stuff is exactly the same. Ingrid's birthday. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god, look how sad he looks. Uh, Alright. What was I... I said I was going to check something here. Oh, the outfits. Oh, okay, I actually have to start the scene, though. Uh, pretty interesting scene with Claude. Uh, pretty interesting scene with Claude is the thing. Yeah, uh, pretty interesting scene Claude. Must weep? Then weep. I shall be here for you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. I love this little interaction. I love, I love that little, that little fade to black, uh, as if Byleth just stayed and cried for a bit. It's very good. Uh, okay, so, uh, unit appearance. Let's check it out. So we've got the war. This is the standard. Still a good outfit. Still a good outfit. These sleeves confuse the hell out of me. Uh, we got the academy. With cloak. This one's good. Yes, there it is. This is, I guess, <laughs> the official school uniform. Um, with a cloak. Uh, without the cloak. But you still get to keep, you still get to keep the hat. You still get to keep the hat. Got that minute black two vibe. Chase. Damn it. Um, yeah. So, we love the hat. We really, really love the hat. Uh, the loungewear is very good. That's just, like, their gym outfit. This is what I had Ignatz and Raphael in for a bit. But it, like, it makes Raphael's body, like, the same size as Byleth's. And it just doesn't, it doesn't hit the same. Servant's attire, which I think is an interesting one. Is just fully a <laughs> servant for some reason. Uh, and then you can... It's like a custom made suit, so it's got some pink, uh, some pink accents. Uh, Byleth really stood there, like, you know, I had to do it to him. 
Can you show Raph in the work outfit? Yes. Um, so this is the summer wear. This is by far the best one. Evening wear. It's just a suit. Ah, that one's actually pretty good, but it's too Lorenz adjacent for me. <laughs> um, the Sothis regalia, which I just think is funny. Because, like, imagine your teacher coming up to you. Like, hey, are you ready to learn? Um... I do love the little hair tie though, uh, with the with the pink and white ribbon, and then the dancer ensemble, which is standard, standard. This was this is what my Byleth wore in uh, my Black Eagles run. Uh, oh, also you can give him glasses. <laughs> also you can give him glasses. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was so they can put uh, F Byleth in the. Uh, Alright. I'm taking off the glasses. I can't. <laughs> as much as I would love Violet to wear glasses. Uh, Alright, so we've got Raphael, right? Here's our big boy. Look at him. So thick. So <laughs> juicy. Um, oh, that's also a fun thing with the students is that you can give them their... You can just make them older. I think, uh, like, I could just have him be wearing his older outfit. Uh, so, just a reminder. Oh, okay, sorry. This is war. So, the academy phase is this. The war phase is this. I'm very excited. God, he's just so thick. Um, the lounge wear, I don't know. I feel like it totally just like flattens his whole body out. He doesn't look as huge, right? Here's this giant boy and then the lounge wear. I don't know. I feel like it just makes him smaller somehow. I guess it's really just like the bursting buttons make him look so, so big. I've got my violet and glasses right now. Um... Give him and some servants attire just for fun. There you go. Uh, evening wear. Look at that dapper lad. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, and then... Yeah. That's it. Um, the maid F by thing is still making upset. Yeah, I considered showing it on a, a, a female student just so we could all be grossed out together, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Um, so there you go. That's, that's all the outfits. This is what I put Byleth in. Uh, 145. Yeah, I'm actually going to, here, let's, um, yeah, the summer look is good. The summer look is really good. Let's, uh, we're going to swap back over to chatting real quick. And we're going to fade that out because that's too sad. <laughs> that's too sad. Uh, bring this back. All right. Um, so we're about uh, an hour 45. I'm going to actually go ahead and take a break. I'm going to run to the bathroom, get me m more coffee maybe. Um, but then I was going to come back and play a little more. Um, I believe... Jill is streaming at one again today. Um, first stream of the year, so that's fun. Uh, so I might just stick around until one and then we'll, we'll uh, hop into Jill's one o'clock stream, uh, if that's still a thing that's happening. Uh, but for now, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Go get some water, get some coffee, get some breakfast, if, if it's breakfast time over there on the West Coast. Uh, and we'll be back with uh, a set. <laughs> Go piss, girl. Uh, we'll be back with a sad monastery scene. See you in a minute.
Hey. <sighs> Quacks, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. <sighs> Sorry about your hammer. Not sorry about your cat. That seems great. <sighs> All right. How we doing, everyone? All right. Let's uh. Let's actually. All right. Let's do some. Never mind. <laughs> Rain making me feel those snoozy vibes. Yeah, I get that. Got some lunch. Great. I got myself a spoonful of peanut butter and some reheated coffee that my roommate made this morning. So we're basically living the same day. So I'll take a walk in some groceries. Feeling none of it. Yeah. Hey, bud. John Mayer spotting. John Mayer spotting? What? Oh, there he is. One John Thomas Mayer. Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Quack, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, turn on the scrappy cam. Oh, and, and it's noon. I don't know if you heard my, my watch beep. It's noon and we got the request for a scrappy cam. The thing is, <laughs> the thing is my phone died. <laughs> so. Hmm? Yeah, I guess so. I suppose I'll use your phone. We have to have a scrappy can here, right? No? No. Uh, browser source. <laughs> Anthony just uh, redeemed uh, Convert Tyra's desk oh. to standing. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. <laughs> doing it. she's cranking oh my goodness. and a hydrate oh my goodness all right can, you oh, you're... I'm doing the desk? can i what the oh Since I have no other way of reaching you other than right here, I use that hack that you told me about the transparent search on Google. I have used that every day since you told me about it. Thank you. It I has saved my life. I hope you heard that. You raised me up. There it is. Up. Okay. All right. Don't get my foot. There he is. The boy cranking a Josh Groban. It looks like you're censoring me. <laughs> He's, just <laughs> He's just... What are you doing? Be more interesting. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> you okay? Ain't that sweet guy? He's a good boy. He loves to be held. Ew. There's so much food on his tag. Yeah, he's get, he's been getting food on his little tag lately. So that's that's exciting. Fall asleep. 
Can I? Can I flip? Yeah, do a flip for the people. Here we go, we flip. Not, not, not quite as graceful as usual, but a flip nonetheless. He likes to stretch in that way. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, well, there he goes. Hey, it's me. Why did I start clapping? <laughs> Hi. Why did I start clapping? Very funny. Goodbye, Scrappy Cam. Double AJ. You could all be so lucky. <laughs> AJJ. AJ, AJ. Both very good. Uh. Sorry, Jill's got me. <laughs> AJ squared is also good. <laughs> A A J J. That was extremely, extremely good. Uh, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch the screen. We don't have to start right away. We can we can keep hanging, but I'm gonna switch to the to the work screen. <laughs> A and AJ stands for AJ. <laughs> this is extremely good. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's the... Might be a different sample rate. Uh, or, or, or whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get to work, yeah. Um, <laughs> look, it's night at Carrie Mock. We all know the J stands for jorts, right? <laughs> AJ actually stands for AJ jorts. <sighs> all right, my phone's back on. Sorry if you've been trying to uh, call me, beat me, trying to reach me, but my phone died, so. All right. An owl feather. Uh, oh, also, Kim, um, something else the DLC adds that has actually been useful is the sauna up here, um, which I think it's so funny that the guy outside the sauna, the sauna boss, sorry, is a grappler, because he just, it just makes the sauna, like, really weird. <laughs> uh, I have done the Wordle. Um, I got it in three. I would have gotten it in two, but I was like, there's no way this is the word, and then did a different word. Um, so so basically, mechanically, the sauna allows uh, whatever student you stay with, if you get them <laughs> warm enough, um, and, and yourself, um, it, it makes your the training more effective. I think you get plus four on every, like, skill training thing. Um, Allie and AJ. N no Allie. <laughs> Uh, so it's pretty good. I've been doing it for Leone because I'm trying to get her axe up. Um, here it is. Here's the vibe. Great. So basically, we're trying to get the 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 little meter that'll go up into the green, uh, and ideally up to the line at the red, and then they'll get the biggest stat boost thing. <laughs> I'll take an alley and AJ. Hold the alley. Yeah, this is a little weird. It is a little weird. Uh, increasing steam makes the meter go up more. Staying longer makes the makes it go up less. Um, it's l probably looking like we'll get it with Leone, but Byleth will be just shy. Is usually, yeah. Leone's glowing. Feels really good. We could probably get one more stay. We could get one more stay longer out of here. Boom. Nice. Leone feels refreshed. Great. Join me in the sauna, my student. Uh, who else, who else, who else needs to train for stuff? Um, uh, da, 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 da. I mean, Mercy's pretty set now as the dancer. Oh, God. Um, yeah, 
I guess Raphael, because I'm, I'm trying to get Raphael, I think, to War Master. Just the casual school sauna. <laughs> oh, also, I, <laughs> I love the way Raphael sits. Oh my god. Dude said, I gotta spread. Yeah, and it's not even, it's like a wide, wide stance. Um, come on, Byleth, get up there. <sighs> okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll both get in the green here. Could we get one more? Yeah, let's push it. Let's see what happens. Nice. Okay. Cool, great. We're both feeling good. Great. That means I will also get the stat boost if I do any faculty training or anything. Cool. All right. Let's do some talking. His feet aren't even touching the floor. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's keeping his core tight. He's got to keep his uh, his legs off the ground. Yeah, Byleth is man-spreading, but nowhere near that much, right? It's canceled for man-spreading. He instantly makes room with... Yeah, that's true. I think Sue has it right. Um, all right. Weird games. You've got to keep yourself active during tough times, Professor. Even if it's... That's how I got through. If you need Thanks. help with anything, just... Eating and training are my specialties. Cool. I'm not even close to being strong enough. I mean, Gerald was so much stronger than me, but that's enough. I can't dwell on the past. Whatever happens, I have to make my own way in this world. I have to keep pushing so I can grow even stronger. There you go, Caspar. And now I can kind of hear the Lorenz in Caspar's voice, unfortunately. Professor, I'm so sorry Professor. about what happened to Gerald. No. Of course, my sorrow is nothing compared to yours. The knights are even now searching for our enemy's whereabouts. Thanks, Dimitri. desire revenge, Professor. I do Dimitri. Relax, bud. This outfit makes Caspar look like a legit child. <laughs> oh, then I accidentally turned on the online functionality here, and so now there's always people here, and my Switch starts chugging every time I walk past it. Uh, all right, who we got? Anyone? No one. Professor? Dark expressions don't suit you, Professor. <sighs> Every time someone's dad is killed, Jimmy Drew makes up in a cold sweat. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I have extremely keen ears for voice actors and it's a curse. Oh, wow. That's that's a fun fact. Around to liven things up. Most of the knights are gone, seeking out the enemy. Isn't that a bit much? What do you think, Professor? Uh, I'm not going to side with Sylvain ever, so sorry. <laughs> oh! And then my favorite part about the DLC is this. You can feed them, and then sometimes... Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Sometimes it'll have something in its mouth, and then you just get... <laughs> you get a smithing material. One. You get a smithing material. Um, so that's fun. <laughs> Anyway. Hello, Lorenz. There is no one here who has not heard tales of Gerald's valor. <laughs> is that Matt Mercer? Matt Mercer, I think, has a very, very... I do not know he's got a particular stink anymore. to all of his voices. But I do know this. After what they have done, we cannot suffer them to live. If there is anything I can do to ensure that justice is brought swiftly, you need only give the word. Thanks, Lorenz. Just plugged in. Get plugged in. Swift Justice is Lorenz's middle name. Huh? Professor, people are saying horrible things about Marianne. <laughs> Hilda, my dad They're just died. She's friends with the bad guys. <laughs> if I hear someone say that, I'll leave it alone, Hilda. It doesn't matter. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll defeat that the bad guys. Would be the quickest way to resolve this. Come on, Marianne. Let's give it our all. That's good. That's a good... I love that. Uh, I love that. I love that. Uh, who... I mean, I think I've already... upped support enough with both of them. Yeah, they're all... It'll take time. 
Surprise Leone. I've been like, I've had tea with Leone like every monastery break and somehow we're still not. Um, and I went to the fucking goddess tower with Leone. Anyway. Uh, all right. One of my favorite things about this house is Hilda subtly supporting Marianne at all times, making her voices heard. Yeah. Mary Hilda, yeah. Mary Hilda's really good. Um, every time she's like, what do you think, Marianne? <laughs> yeah. It's extremely sweet and very good. Oh, I'm sure you will pull through this because you're so strong. I was paired them, but I wanted to put Hilda with Ferdinand because she deserves Stay a simp like him. We don't know the nature of our enemies. If we underestimate them, anything could happen. I agree they must be defeated. Approach with prudence, she says. Um, um, who did I miss out here? Oh God, Claude! What are you doing, bud? <laughs> what uh, what's going on back here behind the bushes, pal? What are we doing? <laughs> hey. Hi, Teach. I see the storm in your eyes has passed. You're looking much better. I've been reading Gerald's diary. The baby he mentions. That's you, isn't it? I yes. can't understand about half of what's written here, but Gerald really cherished you. That much is clear. Scheming corner, yeah. Uh, Kim, did you give, uh, Claude the diary? I'm curious. Not to spoil the episode, but... Dorothea. Professor, I've sung lyrics lamenting death nice. Yeah, it seems foolish not to give him the diary. When something like this happens in real life, I'm lost, but I do know this <laughs> Yeah, the speed tire just said that, uh, I'm running so fast. Yeah, the speed at which Byleth runs... Is just so. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a little combo. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Ooh, we've got a Claude support. Teach. I only have a month. <laughs> Teach, do you believe in gods? I don't necessarily mean the goddess of the Saros religion, just gods in general. God, I that incredible beings have sniffed out the deal the with Claude already. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I guess I probably should have said no. That's not the answer I was expecting. Shit, that will. Though, honestly, I've recently become a bit of a believer myself. Hmm. I've always hated the idea of um, to a god. I mean, is it interesting? If it's interesting, let's save it for the episode, Kim. I still believe that. You can't win a war by leaving your fate in the hands of a god. Only tangible facts can really decide a war. Which side has the most troops, the best tactics, the better organization and planning? Of course, miracles can happen. And by that, I mean things that are completely outside of your control. Things that only seem to add up if you believe in the concept of fate. Things like, well, like meeting you, for example. Facts and logic. It's not super interesting, but it's amusing. Okay, yeah. You just seem sort of impossible. I think everyone would agree with that. You can wield the sword of the creator. You're a tactical genius, and you have this strange ability to earn the trust of anyone you cross paths with. Before I met you, I never imagined that it was possible for someone like you to exist. And yet, now that I know you, your presence in my life has quickly become invaluable. In fact, it's hard to imagine making my dreams come true without your help. Oof. Because of that, I can't believe for a second that our meeting was just a coincidence. That means it must have been fate. Wow. Maybe it was There's a miracle. A boy meowing out there. Or maybe Meow, some god empathized says. with me in my dreams. <laughs> Again, I don't mean the goddess of Fodlan. Though, I suppose it may be hard for you to grasp what I'm talking about. Tell me, Claude. Tell me. People all over the world have different ideas about who or what the gods mm -hmm. are, right? Mm -hmm. Even in distant lands across the ocean or over the mountains. Mm -hmm. They have gods who see the world as a whole, who don't care about Fodlan's borders, 
who don't meddle in our affairs, who don't grant life or take it away. And maybe, sometimes, they'll make a miracle happen. A god like that, that's the sort of guy I think I could believe in. What a smooth teacher. talker. Yeah. You'll anger hey. the followers of Saros if you say things like that. <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind, that's all. I think Relax. people should be free to believe in whatever gods they want. If a person believes in a god and that god becomes a support system for them, that's a good thing. That's what a god should be. Damn, Claude. Anyway, maybe I've overstepped a bit. <laughs> you have. <laughs> I knew you'd understand. In any case, let's keep this conversation between the two of us. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> I heard Gerald passed away. Shut I knew up, him Anna. long before I ever even met you. He was always so much fun to be around. It's such a loss. Okay. Thanks. I Actually, what can you he yes, I know. I just want to see what you can train me in. Uh no. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a quest. Since we are at crosstalk about it, want to hear a fun fact about Marianne's Japanese voice actor? Yes, I do. I trained with Gerald just the other day. Why? It's too awful. Okay. Jeez. Do you have time for a request? Uh, I'm probably not going to do this, but sure. Ugh. Professor? The only time that Bernadette is out of her room. I brought some flowers for Gerald. It's the least I can do. Sometimes I feel like all I do is run away. Anyway. For a member of one of Japan's biggest pop groups. What? <laughs> That's so funny. When was Gerald born? Uh -huh. Eisner. Did we know? I, I, I wonder. I, I, that doesn't ring any bells, but I'm sure it's relevant somewhere. I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, looking for anything we might find useful. There is a group of people who want to kill us, after all. What? This is no time for asking permission. Still, sure. it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. Mm. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying. <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. Alright, where are we going? <laughs> He's related to Michael Eisner. <laughs> oh my god. enemies outdoors uh, the other night I <laughs> great he was pretty tacky he always looked like such a proud thanks I'm so glad you're okay professor I was so worried oh professor you must be starving we were thinking that if you were to eat something sweet it might help you feel better <laughs> baking sweets is my specialty thanks Thank you, ladies. God, everybody's just freaking gossiping this month. Professor, please lend us your ears. Ferdinand is saying impossible things. I do not see what is impossible about it. I do not see what is impossible. All I said was that if you want to go back to Bridget, you probably can. You are the Empire's guest, so to speak. They cannot afford for something bad to happen to you. There would be a diplomatic incident. I love the way someone close that to Ferdinand us has speaks. Up dead. So one could argue that you are not safe here anymore. You were already told. I am learning here from the academy. What are you thinking, Professor? I am not returning to home until I have grabbed my goal. I will not be listening to the words of Ferdinand. No, look, I did not mean to pressure you. 
Even his diction? I did not mean to pressure you. It's so crisp. Crisp and clean. The tip of the tongue, the teeth, whatever the rest of that is. What happened to Gerald? Yeah. There's anything I can do. Simply, we can't let them get away with this. Thanks. Apostrophe? No thanks. <laughs> ah, that... That's pretty compelling evidence. Neurodivergent Ferdinand. Uh, we're all so happy. Why, what are you all so happy about, you little bastards? Um, okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Who am I trying to set up? Actually, no, I want, because I don't actually have them anywhere else. I need, okay, well, that's, I'll do that for the other one. It's the Spice Festival. Um... That's the thing with Anna, too. They didn't even give her any supports. So, like, what's the point of Anna? <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. And who else has supports? What's the Tath? Cyril! That's, that could be interesting. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. Let's go, bud. Hello, David Sachs. I love the flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I love like these emotes. <laughs> this is so good. Can I have seconds? <sighs> Thank you for coming to the stream. Wish this game had a bigger DLC offering, but at least there are rumors of a new one. Really? I didn't know about this rumor. Josie Asia's. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, where are we at? What kind of food does Linhart like? Oh my god, do they not like the same food? That's so frustrating. I need something that Flane and Linhart both like. There we go, that's good enough. Thank you. He's the voice actor for Claude. Okay, I knew the name was familiar. I knew the name was familiar. Got it. That's really good. Uh, all right. My Scythia, my sweet. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's see what that's about. That's well, even more uh, appropriate then, because I am running Golden Deer right now. Uh, Claude. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Actually, let's find Eloise. Eloise, what kind of food do you like? Do you like spicy stuff? Probably not. Oh, is he not available? Oh, why isn't Eloise around? Interesting. Oh, because none of the knights are here. Duh. Bourgeois. God, it scares me every single time. Final Fire 589, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Just finished chapter nine of the Golden Deer route, uh, if you couldn't tell by the music. All right. We're just vibing here until one o'clock, about another half That's hour. Amazing. My, this is more food, more food. Who 
Ghost Mary Ann and Hilda. Yeah. That's the fun thing about New Game Plus, is starting with 10 activity points and just, like, eating your way to the top. <laughs> Something Ignatz likes. Ignatz! Yes. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Bum, bum, bum. That looks bum, bum, this bum. food is a revelation. It's a revelation. Alright. Put that Dex up. Baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other Mercedes, you've been doing great for six months, so I guess it's been almost a year, huh? You've been doing great for a year. Wow. Wow. Alright. Uh and then we'll take someone to tea. I think I'll take Leona to tea. And Gerald's gone. He's gone. And we'd only just reunited. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure this is even harder on you. She probably won't want to come can't. to tea, huh? I can't believe. Thanks. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, let me quick pull up. Perfect tea time with Leone. Oh my god. Kim, I don't know if uh, <laughs> if you've checked your texts in the last minute or <laughs> last minute, but uh, I hate the explore phase in New Game Plus because I'm like I'm just gonna eat and train and do that as quick as possible. Not finished fished in this game since my first run. Yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, let's see. Leone, perfect tea time. Shoutouts to fireemblem.fandom.com for their uh, tea guides. All right, Force Placer Angelica. We've got Angelica. Thanks. This is great. Yeah. Gotta bounce. Bye, Sue. Have a good night. Have fun shopping. Cute monks. Yeah, right. Heard some gossip. Oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. I didn't think she would like that one. I'm proud to be the greatest apprentice to the best mercenary in Fodlan. That keeps me going. Uh... Definitely parsable without a guide. I definitely would have been able to get all of that without a guide. Uh, all right, let's get your line. I hate this. this is really nice. What are you staring at me for? I've been doing all my training. <laughs> all right, bye. <laughs> Cute monks. Yeah, right. I wish there was a fandom wiki that had guides for my social interactions. <laughs> Thanks for the tea. Invite me by again sometime. Yeah. Uh, I guess the fandom guide would just be like, <laughs> I don't know, talking to them, right? <laughs> We did it. Bong, 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 bong. I only fish to get the queen loach because I like the plus two decks uh, every week. Or every week. It is a shame what happened. I am sorry. Leave some flowers on his grave for me. To do, you could leave flowers on his grave. Yay. Is there any rhyme or reason to planting? Like, if you plant different types of 
seeds together? Are there like certain chances of special whatever? Uh, special plants showing up? Yeah, I figured that was the case, but... Someone who's not good at magic. You can talk to the... Can you feed the dogs? No, it's just the... Oh, no, there it is. Okay. What do you like, buddy? How about a bullhead? Wow, a five-star fish? You're not even gonna have something in your mouth? There you go. <laughs> Ungrateful. <laughs> I do not have the patience to figure it out. Yeah, I agree. I'm so sorry. Yes. Don't push yourself too hard too soon. Losing someone dear to you. That said. Sorry, Ingrid. <sighs> oh, that's a good cat. Hey, welcome. Hey. Hey. I'll never learn how the greenhouse works. <laughs> it is simply vibes. Yeah. Hello there. Return soon, please. Let's forge some stuff. Let's see if we hey can there. forge anything. I'll probably do this in the second phase. Uh, stronger mace. Yeah, we do like a higher hit rate, huh? We do like a higher hit rate, is the thing. Dorothea have a devil axe. That's so funny. Alright. Uh that's fine. I'll just save this stuff for later. Come back anytime. I'll come back later, I just said, okay? Oh no. Oh no. Professor. Thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. <laughs> God. That's so sad. I always think about uh, Mary, I don't know if you're still here, but I always, I constantly think about your video running up and down these steps, triggering the, or no, I guess it was the church steps, wasn't it? Triggering the, uh, the song switch. It's a good tweet. Or good video. Alright, let's, I could teleport, but I'm just gonna sprint up the length of the monastery real quick. What? what? I don't know if this is a hot take, but I can't stand the marketplace music. I don't really have an opinion on it, but okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Professor. I always like running into this gate. It's very funny. I want to get in the church. It always makes me feel like I'm doing a speed run strat because I like clip through the gate. There are many citizens of the empire who are currently in despair. I think it's time for a change in leadership. Perhaps someone new should ascend the throne. You would do well as a ruler, Ferdinand. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good shit. That's good shit. Uh, there are as many men in the world as there are stars in the sky, but you meet so few good men during your time. How does one meet a worthy partner? Um, it might be time to give up completely. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Not just Tomas, but Monica too. We yeah. can't be sure who to trust anymore, Ken. Who are these people really? Ash, if I told you their name, you wouldn't believe me because it's so dumb. Uh, all right. Right, Professor. Hey, oh, Goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn, receive them into your 
Blue blood. Hmm. Receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Gerald is happy in the next world. That's really sweet, actually. I really love that. Thanks, Cyril. Little guy. Uh, the shop music is too much when I'm trying to read menus, and it's too fucking peppy in moments like these. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and I want a monster train. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Scout. Need something. Need something. See you again 200 soon. renown? What am I, poor? Sorry, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, that's all. Here, Ignatz. Anytime I see a red-haired student, I'm like, oh, it's Monica. I'm scared. How could something like that happen to Gerald? He was so strong. You're inspiring, Professor. Thank you. Uh, what bothers me the most about the marketplace is how the merchants have a voice line after every per- yeah. Is this the one? Thanks a bunch. Is this the one? Thanks a bunch. Monica von Ox. There is nothing suspicious in her past that would suggest this change of character. Her transformation must have something to do with her disappearance last year. Uh-huh. Sadly, that is the extent of my knowledge. Okay. First Tomas, and now Monica. I am so sorry. The failing was clearly our own. We didn't notice the enemy's invasion. And now Gerald. I... Professor, please do not let you... There is no way to know where another enemy may be hiding. Thank you, sir. That's so. Is that so? <laughs> Tara's cranking her desk now. <laughs> you have lost your father. Yes. Now more than ever, do I understand how very lucky I am that you were able to save me, uh -huh. Professor? I deeply appreciate it. <laughs> <your friend. laughs> Thank you. If there's anything that I can do in return, please tell me. Okay. Hubert, what are you doing back there, buddy? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, pal. <laughs> I've never been much for <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He truly is lurking. Oh my god. Hey you. Hey you. Hi, my dad just died. What's up? You've lost someone very dear to you. I, Manuela and I can take we can't Thank do you. all the teaching but I've always seen strength and you're a very Hanuman I, mean, I know you want to just take my skin okay you don't have to be coy about it I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss this it's about the weapon <sighs> that killed Gerald yeah I, I, it was a dagger but I know enough to know I hope this pays off in the Golden Deer route, because there's no... It wasn't made of iron or steel, because... <sighs> because whatever it was... I guess there had... I don't know. There's just no... They don't talk about it at all after this in, in uh, Blue Lions or Black Eagles. Unless we're just supposed to be like, oh, it's... Uh, I wonder who... Why do you have... Okay. Um, you're just supposed to be like, oh, it's, it's whatever they're making the uh, fucking... Spoilers for the second half of the game, I guess, but it's whatever they're making the, uh... <sighs> relics out of. Oh, is something hiding just behind that book? Mm hmm <gasps> That ring! I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside it. He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. He also that means it's yours. you should gift that ring to someone special. Thank you. Hey you! Hey, how's it going? 
Grieving? Listen, Fun. How are you That's great. I know how heavily grief weighs upon one. Ash catch some voice actors as Manuela. Oh, I love all these voice actor facts today. Forgive me my moment of weakness. I've lost my mother sometimes. Though. Even all these Sometime years ago. later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just mm -hmm. know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to, as if cool. perhaps the real thinking yes. of it like that. It is possible how yes. they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though. I yes. Magic. So, uh, set up. I don't know if you've ever heard of magic, but... Uh, okay. The end. My other beloved. I learned a l I learned Oh Lawrence That was that What is the what are the War Master skills? Is it just uh, is it just axe and grappling? Or do you need sword as well? Axe brawl, thank you! <laughs> Great job, buddy. Oh! Nice. Ignatz, I feel like, would be pretty... Oh, what's his magic? Nine? Oh, I don't know. I've really... Yeah. I've... Nice. I... Nice. I've really been putting a lot into Lysithia's uh, white magic this time. Just for fun. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Makes me chuckle. I, mean, I guess I just should just keep going down the list, huh? Um, no, actually, I'm probably gonna. I, I can go to tea and stuff with Leone. Um, I've learned. Uh, yeah, that still feels right. Here, Hilda, actually. Let's switch you. Oh, that's why I made her Fortress Knight, because it was the her hidden talent. Um, why don't we do just Axe? Yeah, maybe Authority. Yeah, sure, why not? Just like Gerald. Okay, Mercedes, great. 
All right, I hope we're all ready to hear that skill up sound a whole lot. I have a quest. Sure. Looks about strategy or reason requires so much focus, I end up absolutely famished. But if I go to class after a big meal, I can't help you get any sleepy. Bring along a snack. If you're sleeping, maybe you should get some sleep. Bring along a snack. Wonderful idea. You're welcome. You can eat in my class as long as it's not a distraction. You know what, Petra? Go for it. Hydrate. Thank you, Chris. I am just gonna skip through these because so I have. Sorry, Professor. I didn't okay. mean to. Call. Imagine if that had happened during one of our. It's just. Oh, who am I kidding? Before I came to the officers, it even back then I was pulled, and I never even noticed I was harming myself. I know I've already told you, it's a passion of sorts. I, my father was so... Seeing him happy made me happy. Uh. Only things could... When I was about there, he was a devout man, so that's why I went to the school of sorcery. I studied harder than ever. Unfortunately, my passion for learning became more of an obsession. Feels like I've been running in And that has such beautiful since. eyes. <laughs> No way. Yeah, I just, I, 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 uh, I don't want to skip the scene completely. I do just want to just skim it. Yay! I usually skip all the Black Eagle ones, and then the Blue Lions I'll just, like, thumb through. Um, just skim it all. I'm honored. <laughs> okay. Dear Goddess. Dear that Goddess, so it's bad. me, Marianne. Are you there, Goddess? There it is. Are you there, Goddess? It's me, Marianne. <laughs> wow, not as many brain rings as I thought. Hmm, I see. Nice. I will master this. <laughs> I thought that said Albert stance. Like oh, enlightening. I'm getting much better. Yeah, yeah. Fun fact: When I first played, I accidentally hit plus and skipped the scene when I explained what crests are, <laughs> and that hey, you've got one, but we don't know what's up with it. Oh my god, Saint Sarah's Day is today. Yeah, let's sing. I hope this song reaches the goddess's ears. I've never, I've never done this with Lorenzo. That sucked. <laughs> it's Rhea's birthday. Oh, interesting. The how her birthday lines up. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? Rhea, perfect D time. <laughs> But I'm pleased to have been invited. I adore this. Thank you for preparing my favorite tea. Needless to say, I was confused for the first few chapters. <laughs> I am bum, 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 bum. Yes, yes, yes. Drink, drink it faster. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Time is of the essence. Yes. Uh, children at the market. I see. Of course. First crushes. Uh, I heard some gossip. Everybody loves of gossip. Course. Everybody in this monastery is a freaking gossip. Yes. Gifts you'd like yes. to receive. Have confidence. I truly believe you can lead your students down the right path. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Professor. Yes. Now, this crown is rather elaborate, but uh -huh. it has been passed down through generations of archbishops. Oh, interesting. Tell me more about it. Tell me more about it. How quickly this delightful time has passed. <laughs> they don't have TV. How else do you expect them to entertain themselves without gossip? Yeah. 
All right, and I think actually this is where I will. Still sad, huh? Still sad. Let's just check if we've gotten any closer. Oh, we already did that. Uh, who did I? How much closer are we? Seventy-eight. What do you think? Should we try it? War is the other option, I suppose. What do you think? Seventy-eight percent. You think we can get it? I think she can do it. I usually don't like to do it if it's below like 80, but I think for the drama, I think we should do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, Leone. Let's go, Leone. Music notes, music notes, music notes. Yeah, Leone, woo! <laughs> Beautiful. All that hard work's paid off. Damn straight. Save scum. <laughs> I never even, th Kim, that never even crossed my mind of like saving and then doing the thing. I, I'm so dumb. That is so smart, especially with the master seals. Uh, no, you're a dancer. That's fine. Great job, Leone. You're doing great. You're doing absolutely wonderful. Um, white magic or black magic? I mean, I'm going to turn her into a Gremory anyway. And her black magic is crazy when she's... Wom bom bom. Perfect. Perfect comprehension. Darn tootin'. Great, great, great. What do you need? Higher sword still. What's your sword at, B? Sorry, bud. Well, what, what, what do we need for a hero? Hmm. Yeah. All right. Gonna get set up for a stream. Thank you. All right, Jill. Uh, see you in a few minutes. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in a little late, uh, not a little late, I don't, whatever. Um, at 1-ish, we are going to raid Jill's stream, and we will be done here. But So that's exciting. Uh, 70%. 70%'s pretty low. I mean, we already tested our luck with the 70-whatever for Leone. There are no advanced seals in the convoy. Oh no. Yeah, I also have 30,000 gold or whatever, so let me just buy a couple of... Buy a couple of... Uh... Do I need five? Do I even have five students left? Alright. Let's go, Claude. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. What's your axe at? B as well, okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right, music notes, music notes, music notes, music notes. Come on, Claude. Yeah, hell yeah. Sick, all right, cool. Beautiful. I did pretty nice. well. All right. I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that. And I think that's a pretty good way to leave us off here. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I will be doing the battles. Let's see who, whose paralogs we got real quick, actually. Just, ooh, Hilda and Cyril. That's fun. Okay, so we're going to Foden's Throat, which is where Hilda's brother is. And I guess, or Foden's Locket, whatever. Wow, that'll be a fun one. Cool. All right. Hey, look, it's all my games. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many of you have finished listening to the Game of the Year episode for Into the Aether, but um, Project Triangle Strategy uh, is coming out this year, but they 
it's no longer Project Triangle Strategy because that was just a placeholder name for the demo. Uh, they didn't go to... <laughs> they're not calling the game Triangle Strategy. They're actually just calling the game Project Triangle, uh, which I think is some of the stupidest shit. Uh, I think it's the Octopath Company. It looks like Octopath at the very least. If it's not Octopath, then it's like a real a real big chomping of flavor, uh, as it were. But all right, boom. There's some music. Um, yeah, they're calling it Project Triangle, Chris. I know, I know. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they would do that. Um, but oh well, I guess. <sighs> well, ow. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out today. Um, oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I will be back next week. Tomoya Sana. Okay, okay. Octopath and Brave the Default. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, uh, if you haven't played the demo for... Um, Project Triangle Strategy. Uh, I would. It's fun. It's it's a great time. The story is wild, uh, even in just the demo. It's it's a lot of it's it's a good amount of demo too. I think it's like six or six hours or something. Um, the strategy is very fun. The characters are wild. I ho hopefully the voice acting will get better, uh, or or at least like polished a little bit in the final product. But um, I'm very excited for the for the that game to come out. I think it comes out in March, uh, which is way sooner than I thought. But I guess it's been over a year since that demo came out. Um, what is time, you know? Uh, so I'll be back uh, here with a cup of coffee and no work next Monday. Uh, but Tara will be here on Wednesday for Plants in Production. Um, do you know what you're going to be working on on Wednesday? Okay. I'm gonna be making a battery holder station. Oh, out of, out of clay? clay? Fun. So on Wednesday, I don't know if we heard this, um, Tara's gonna be making a battery storage station for our camera battery, uh, batteries, um, out of air dry clay. So uh, tune in for that, 10 o'clock uh, Eastern time, Wednesday morning. And then Thursday night, um, we will be live. Uh, we had a little bit of a, uh, we were trying to set up in here with both of us, but it just wasn't working. <laughs> so, uh, we had to call it cause we were already too deep in the setup and, uh, it's fine. Uh, so Thursday night, we will be back in our regular <laughs> streaming space. Um, finishing up on packing. Uh, very excited to do that. Very fun time we had. We started it on our 12 hour stream. Uh, so I'm looking forward to actually finishing it. Um, so if you're interested in that, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Thursday evening, uh, Tara, Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time, and me next Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'm sure we'll find out together. Um, we are going to raid uh, Jill, uh, my very one of my very best friends and mod of Workplay Vibe. Uh they're playing Final Fantasy 15, it looks like. Um, and we are going to raid in about five seconds. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Oh, I got to hit the raid now button. Bye, everybody. Have fun, Angel Stream. Be very nice. Goodbye.